Hello. In this release, we significantly change left sidebar. I hope this is the last iteration. And let me show what you can do uh, as an admin and as a user in the sidebar and what was changed. First, we early introduced tabs and now we changed them a little bit. Now you have a workspace tab. It's a default space uh, with all things as usual. And you have a personal tab with favorites and private sections. So you can add things into favorites like spaces, folders, views, and you can create private documents and views here. Uh, what changed? Now, on the top level, you can create documents, folders, views, and other things. Let's try to create some document. And as you see, it's created on the top level. And the structure that admin sets here will be the same for all user. Like, if you are not an admin, you will be unable to change this order. Now you still have spaces and hidden for me sections, but as an admin, you should get rid of these two things, like uh, in the future, since we are going to remove them soon. How to do it? Uh, one way is to just uh, drag and drop spaces from this special space section to higher level, like this. Another way, now you can create folders on the top level. Let's create a folder and call it, let's say, CRM. Now you can put spaces into this CRM folder. Like I want to put CRM space here, email space here, and let's say charge B space here as well. So now I have a folder and several spaces inside. And when you move all spaces, like higher as an admin, this spaces section disappeared, you see. But you still see hidden for me section. And now I have to do the same. Like for hidden for me, I can move some spaces to top. And this hidden for me section again disappear. And now this is how every user will have a left sidebar in workspace section. The nice idea is to add more folders, like uh, maybe I want to create some miscellaneous folder and put some items like, I don't know, people uh, and maybe some other weird spaces into this MISC folder. And maybe I want to create some more like product folder and put some remaining spaces into this product folder. And they can rearrange folders as well. So let's put main intro on top. And this is it. Like this is how every user will see this workspace menu now. And if you rearrange some things inside space, again, it will be the same for every user. So what is lost? User is unable to hide any space. And uh, before that, uh, it was possible to click here and select like hide space. We don't have this option anymore. But you can create like a whitelist. So if you really want to have like local shop, uh, you can just add it to favorites. Or maybe you want to have the whole products folder. You can also add it to favorites. And now when you switch to personal, all these things are here, like your product folder, your local shop. And, you know, here in personal, you can only see what you really need and hide all the other things. Okay. So as an admin, you can do that. Another thing, you can create uh, smart folders on top. Uh, so you can create a small smart folder, select some high level database, in this case, I don't know, let's, let's select the project uh, and uh, let's rename this smart folder, like all projects. And now you can present projects to all users, like in a top level right here. 
And you even can create views. If you want to create some very important whiteboard or board, you can also do it like, uh, I don't know, it can be like company structure. If you think that this whiteboard is really important and everybody should see it, you can also like create it on the top level and all people will see it. Again, only admin can change things here in the workspace section. Uh, usual user will be able only to browse things, like to expand folder, to see things, and this is it. Uh, nothing, pos nothing else possible. We also introduced a few things, like you can collapse everything with a single click. You can quickly find things in the panel, uh, and it's handy to like control uh, this navigation and make it smoother for you. You can also again create new items from here and new space creation would into this menu. I'd say these are all major changes. So my advice for you, if you are an admin, uh, to think about uh, uh, navigation structure for the whole company and set it up. Uh, so. It will solve many problems, like uh, it can be more compact for users, you can organize things as you need. And again, the main idea is that for any user, this menu will look exactly the same. And for user, if you are a user, I advise you to add interesting things into your personal setting, personal stuff, like just add to favorites, add to favorites, and use this personal section almost all the time uh, to navigate quickly, to find information faster, and to enjoy more simpler navigation patterns. One thing uh, we are thinking about is how to put these uh, interesting items uh, into personal section automatically. Uh, it's quite hard to understand uh, what the best button is, so if you have some ideas how to really do it, please don't hesitate to share them, since now we are working on it. And another thing we are thinking about is to add like uh, your personal folders into favorites. So now, if you add things here, they are just a linear list, and it can be many things. So maybe we will add folders, and you will be able to add folders into favorites and group this information as you wish in your uh, favorite section. If you have any feedback, any ideas, uh, any like insights about this navigation, uh, please uh, write us a comment, uh, ping us an in intercom. We are happy to hear all this feedback. I hope this time you will find useful patterns with this navigation and you will love it eventually. So at least this is our bet. Cheers.